Year 2000, Mazak slant turn 450, one meter bed length for about, about 40 inches of center distance. Machine has a Mazatrol 640T Fusion Series control, conversational base control. Hard drive, mouse pad, machine has a Mayfran chip conveyor, chip pan, coolant pump. This machine has a large amount of tool blocks with it and chuck jaws. blocks with it and there were in the area of 30 sets of chuck jaws. There's an oil skimmer in there as well. Uh, there was one set of hard jaws, the balance of them were soft jaws. We have manuals down in there as well. A mixture of turning holders, boring bar holders. There's likely at least one cutoff holder in there. This machine's set up with a multi-tap transformer for high-low voltage. All the covers appear to be available. Serial number is 149168. Manufactured new in June of 2006. Machine weighs just under 22,000 pounds at 21,780 pounds. Made in Japan. Machine has a I believe it's a 21 inch, three jaw hydraulic chuck. There is some markings on the uh, tailstock bedways. Rather incidental, it does have the tailstock. The tooling other than the one block, turning holder is all in the crate that we showed earlier. Get some more light in here. Heavy duty slant bed machine with a three speed gearbox. The spindle bore is about four 0.1 inches with three and a half inch bar capacity. We have a chuck cap on it now, but otherwise it has through board capacity for the chuck. On the side of the control here, we have the USB port. Keypad looks to be in good condition. All the buttons are visible, along with the reference to them keys are available. Nothing seems to be broken off. Right now we're running it in high gear at 750 RPM and then we'll go ahead and we'll cut it back to uh, the second gear. We'll drop to, what do we say, 150? Take it to second gear and we'll run it at 150 RPM, which would be about the bottom end likely of second gear. Two 
hundred, maybe the two fifty pop. That's two fifty. And then we'll go ahead and we'll take it down to first gear and run it at about fifty RPM. Sounds good in all three ranges. We're going to move, uh, move the slides and the Z-axis first, that's at 100% rapid. And then we'll do the X-axis. Nice and quiet in both axes. Don't hear any inordinate uh, bearing or ball screw noise. Actually sounds quite smooth and quiet. Don't have a whole lot of background noise here other than a warehouse fan going right now. The guards seem to be reasonably noise free, a little bit of rattle, but nothing significant. So overall pretty solid. That's your Mazak Slant 450. The tailstock body is a drag type. Quill is hydraulic. See the extend and retract. 